Golden Tulip Essential Hotel, number 42 Moitola Mohammed International Airport Road. We are also on social media. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter at VOP 903 FM. And uh, we are streaming live right now on our website. It's at www.thevoiceofthepeople.ng. You can uh, find us also on YouTube because we're, stre- we're streaming there live right now on YouTube at Voice of the People 90.3 FM. Just search for us, subscribe to our channel and watch us everywhere you go. Uh, this morning we have a lot to talk about from uh, our dailies. Uh, we have uh, the punch here, I have uh, the daily thrust, I have the vanguard, I have the sun and uh, this day. Uh, this day newspaper so i'm going to be giving you headlines from these papers and thereafter we'll get to discuss some of the hot topics in the news this morning and uh, later on on the program as i after giving you the headlines rufal seni will be joining me on the program uh via the the network so but uh obed obed will not be joining us today because he still has to attend to some issues but hopefully tomorrow he will be here on the program now let's begin this morning with uh, the punch newspaper world leaders uh, four billion audience bid queen elizabeth farewell student targets a papa port after airport road blockade uh, National Assembly resumed 2023 budget CJN confirmation uh, top agenda. Uh, another uh, headline from uh, the Punch Jambo organizes mop up UTME for 67 candidates. Lagos government demolishes illegal structures in Lekki. Now to the Vanguard newspaper this morning, or subsidy organized crime, says uh, Peter Obi. NDLEA uncovers cocaine warehouse in Ikorodu seizes 193 billion naira watt of crack. And now bandits adopt over 45 persons in Kaduna church demands 200 million ransom the story is on the vanguard this morning canoes health uh, worsens in dss detention says lawyer canoes health uh, worsening in dss detention uh, says the lawyer the story is on the vanguard another one from the vanguard evans accomplices jail 21 years for kidnapping collecting for 4.2 million ransom no 42 million ransom and now to the sun newspaper this morning lawa Baja Mila uh, kuka set agenda for candidates and the uh, federal government asu knows fate tomorrow federal government asu knows fate tomorrow the story is on the sun newspaper this morning bandit Kid, uh, nap, kidnap 60 worshippers in Kaduna Church demand 200 million ransom. The story is still on the Sun newspaper. Uh, court dismisses uh, PDP suits against Tinibu Obi over placeholder deputies. And now to the daily thrust this morning. Inflation, uh, federal government plans increment of minimum wage. Interesting. Uh, another story from uh, the Daily Thrust this morning. PSC management to meet IGP uh, ministers over police recruitment promotion. Buhari congratulates NDLEA chairman on drug bust. And now to this day newspaper. Uh, it has this headline, Kiyari. Uh, 3.4 trillion naira needed to subsidize 66 million liters daily consumption of uh, petrol per annum. And now finally, from this day newspaper, Buari to launch Nigerians' financial framework for sustainable development in 
New York on Friday. These are your headlines this morning. You can just pick up a copy of the newspapers and read the details of the stories. I just uh, selected some of the headlines, so there are many more for you. We are going to discuss some of the hot topics in the news this morning from uh, the newspaper headlines that I've given you. So, But before we do that, we need to pay some bills and thereafter I'll return and uh, we'll, we'll get to talk this morning. This is the voice of the people, 98.3 FM. Keep it locked here. If you're looking for a place to relax and find comfort, the right place to be is the Golden Tulip Essential Hotel. At the Golden Tulip Essential Hotel, we offer excellent services to our clients and customers. We serve high quality wines at our restaurant and bar, while our continental dish is second to none. At the Golden Tulip Essential Hotel, located on 42 Maritala Mohammed International Airport Road, our rooms are in conformity with international standard and best practices. We are Accord priority to security for all our guests. Breakfast is free. That's our start do. Yay! And we have standard facilities for your seminar and training. For bookings and reservations, please call 0815-7003-333. Ice on my neck, ice on my wrist, you know. That's our start do. The award-winning pizza in the U.S. is now here in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you <laughs> Romeo, the pizza champions, and cold berry ice cream. Delights in every school. Visit any of our outlets and feel the rich taste from the pizza champions and cold berry ice cream at 11 Road by First Avenue, First Town, 28 at Denira Ogusanya Street, Suruliri, 13 at Marilty Way, Lekki Face 1. Romeo's Pizza and cold berry ice cream. Romeo. The Pizza Champions. <laughs> Are you aware that Iroka Online Limited installed and designed a 100,000 capacity church building? Oh yeah, we are the sole distributors of global leading brands all over the world, such as Waf Day Light Array, speakers and digital amplifiers, Presenos digital mixers and studio equipment, Coswell workstations and keyboards, Fender Jitters, Mapex drums, Ashdown bass combos, just to mention but a few. We offer flexible payment plan handled by our financial department with 20 24 7 customer care support system. You can visit our website on www.iroka.com to avoid buying fake products. You can also visit our showroom at number 36, Lagos International Airport Road, beside Golden Tulip Hotel. Iroka, never set to for less. of the morning to you this is the voice of the people 98.3 fm and you are listening to the front page review of our daily newspapers my name is mary onaife edebi now we've given you the headlines it's time for us to discuss some of the hot topics in the news this morning the one that stood out for me uh, before we go into the asu talk this morning because we have to talk about uh, what happened yesterday when the students uh the nas uh, blocked the airport airport road and there was no movement we will talk about it but let's uh, look at this first this one it's um the headlines here from the vanguard newspaper yeah. okay we have rufal senior on the line good morning to you rufal. Morning, morning, Mary. Morning. okay Pleasure. okay yeah. we'll begin Sorry, with okay great great good to have you join us now we'll begin with the vanguard uh headline this morning it says how NDLEA uncovered cocaine warehouse in Ikorodu seized 193 billion uh, naira worth of crack. Now, operatives of the Nas uh, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have busted a major warehouse in a secluded estate in the Ikorodu area of Lagos. We have 1.8 tons, that is 1,855 kilograms of cocaine were stored 
The cocaine seized from the warehouse is worth more than 278 million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars equivalent to about one hundred and ninety four billion seven hundred and seventy five million naira that is the street value of the cocaine four drug burns including a jamaica and a warehouse manager have been arrested now the interesting part of the story is this the kingpin of the cocaine cartel in custody include one Soji Jubri, he is 69 years, an indigenous of an indigenous of uh, Ibadan or your state. There is uh, Emmanuel Chuku, is 65 years, who hails from Anambra State. There is Wasu, uh, he is 53 years from Ibadan. Uh, there is Sunday Ogutulere uh, is 53 years. And finally, there is Kelvin Smith that is 42 years. Now, you look at their age. We're having someone that is 69 years, 65 years, 53, 42. They are in their 50s. The youngest is 52. And you wonder what they are doing with drugs. One would think that the youth are the, 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 youth are the issues when it comes to drugs. They are the problem. Like you say, the youth, they, 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 are, they, they are less busy and this and that. But now we are seeing people, elders, in the business and it, it took so long to be able to 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 capture them who it was shocking to know that this was happening in ikorodu area an estate in ikorodu area rufa Oseni, can you help us make some sense from this whole situation i mean mary uh i would like to give kudos to the NDLA. they've been doing a great job on the book of Marwa. thank you so much for all they do to read out, you know, people like this in our society. But Mary, I'm not surprised. When I saw the story and I saw the scale, I know that all the men behind it are probably big men. So I'm not sure, I'm not surprised that there are men mm. in their 60s. Because for you to be able to pull out a cocaine infrastructure like that, if you look at the street value, 190 billion. billion. It just shows that there's a, there's a big narco ecosystem going on in Nigeria. And Nigeria has been known to be a transit camp for narco, narcotics around yeah. the world. Yeah. And, you know, it, I'm happy that the NDL is cracking them because these are the big boys of the trade. I'm not sure in a long time NDL has been able to crack in and eat deep into the big boys like this. Because, trust me, if you investigate well, all those guys you mentioned are multi-billionaires one way or the other. Yes. Because, obviously, they've not been doing it now. They've been doing it for many years, for donkey years. And they've been recruiting the small people that are peddling in small capacities that are lifting for them and they are making their money and all of that. So I might think they are cracking them. But for me, what I also want is prosecution. We need to go after them big time. We need to crack their sources where they have money. Because you see, as they crack them, now, these people too will start pressing buttons. They will have friends in high places too in Nigeria. You can't tell me that they're not going to have that. Yeah, I, I think so they, for that war. They, they, will, they, they, will. Will, they will get it. I mean, they, yeah, but once people can have NACO trade worth over 190 billion, they will know one or two top people in this country that will start pressing buttons for them. And I think the LA have revealed all of them to be pressing buttons for them. And the problem we always have is that people like this in the end, we don't see full prosecution. There's only one true prosecution. I want also the media to follow the case so that we ensure that these people face the full rot of the law and we get rid of drugs in our society. This is sad. It's a staggering number. 190 billion. Goodness me. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 could, I can say that the, the cocaine was... Uh, to, I don't think they supply the cocaine here in Nigeria. I think they, they export it out of the country. Yes, yeah, for international... So, you know, they've always argued that Nigeria is a transit camp. They source from other markets, warehouse in Nigeria, then they start to push in small bits to other parts of the world. And it's a big level of connivance. You'd be surprised that people even in authority are part of this trade. I, eh? I, won't, be, I won't be surprised. I, I won't be surprised at all. It, it took the NDLA about, they started this, uh, the trail since 20, 2018. Yes, they've been trailing this. Yeah, I, 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 and that's why I said kudos to them. This, I thought this one of their biggest. You know, he's a big guest, according to what yeah, he says. Yeah, one of their big biggest boss ever. Wow. Kudos mm. to them, and kudos to the leadership of the NDLA and all the members of staff. Mm. Like, like, like you said, we really hope that these people will be brought to book. I mean, it will not be covered up. 
this old man that into such now let's talk about uh, asu because uh, asu is in the news again um the student now protesting the student targets a papa port after airport road uh, blockade that happened yesterday there was no movement you know we are at uh, airport road so we, we, we witnessed what happened yesterday when the student they came out and they were chanting they were singing and uh, telling everybody that kept to listen that they are not going to get out of the road this is just the beginning until the federal government do something about this there were policemen on ground there were army officers on ground and they just watched them do their peaceful protests now they are saying that they are moving now from this place now to a papa a papa port until the government will hear them but uh, we haven't gotten any response yet from the from the government it's like uh, they w they will not get their result from what we are seeing either way we can't allow these disruptions to continue the students yes are right in their demand for an end to our strike we have all called on the government and i'm sad that the government is not listening to anybody because obviously now they're in court and you know when once people go to court they are not ready to do anything they will drag mm -hmm. out the case in court and the excuse they will probably give as the case drags out is that the case has been in court so that's an exoneration and don't be surprised when you start hearing the narrative about that eh, when they say oh, you didn't come uh, why didn't you oh, you did nothing about us they will say but the case is in court and it was court that dragged out the case i can, I can, and that's I can why imagine. we couldn't do anything yeah you know since the case was scheduled for yesterday now it's also been pushed forward again in court and that's that court normally does the process goes on and on and on and on so that's the next excuse now probably before we get any headway from court now it will be around december and when the election will start very soon november what are we that we're already getting into october the year is already coming to an end yes. so what is showing you that nothing is happening but please i beg the students i saw a lot of disruption yesterday which was inflicting pain on the innocent passengers that are also in support of the students, but their life has been disrupted because of the student activity. And one other thing that happened yesterday, I want to say kudos to the security men and the members of the Air Force. I dope my heart for the military wing of the Air Force that were there. They came out, yes, they were armed to the seat, but they conducted things and they allowed the student protest in peace. Yes. In fact, if I can, you know, just shake all the hands of those Air Force officers. If they brought about peace, I would hear about any loss of life. Because something happened from the videos I saw. There was a convoy that came out. That even hit one of the students. They said, you know, the convoy should wait. The Air Force officer told him to wait. But he drove rough and he hit one of the students. But the Air Force officers who calm things down around that area when they blocked it. So kudos. To the members of the Air Force, kudos to them. If anybody's around, they tell them that we're greeting them this morning because when they do things that are not right, and I say it to them, so oh, replies spirituality before I'm saying kudos to them now this morning for that. But please, I would like to beg all these students, please. What, what would if you, what you, would you, you have park, them do? What would you have them do? See, They've been home for see, what, 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 now. what are we going what are we going to have them? You can protest without blocking the roads. That's my first point. You can protest without blocking the once you start to block the road, you start to infringe on the rights of other people. You can carry your placard. You can have a procession, but without blocking the road, please. I beg you. I beg you. You would even see people will join you. They will walk with you. You can have walks. You can have rallies. Carry your placard. You know, call on the people to, to join you. Yes, and the media covers you. But when you start to block the road and disrupt the livelihoods of people, I am sorry I will not be a party to that. And that's just what I mean. This blocking the road, disruption of things, no now. Because you are causing hardship on innocent people in society. There are people that might have medical emergency. There are people that might want to catch a flight for their life. They didn't miss their flight yesterday. So I'm saying, yes, go ahead and protest. And that's why the first time I talked about this, I said, see, in other climes of the world, you can even book a time to protest. You carry your placard, look for one or two hours, and leave the place. But once you start to block the road and disrupt traffic, it becomes problematic. Uh, you know, and you see things can get really you, have, you, have you dealt with a child that uh, is very angry? The child starts throwing tantrums. You know, if they don't block the road, if they don't create this kind of education, they don't make sure everybody come to a standstill, how would the government listen to them? You say they should Maybe. do a peaceful protest, carry black card and the peaceful. And pe Asu has been discussing with the government in a peaceful way. 
for over seven Mary. months, nothing is happening. So maybe, Mary. yes. Mary, the Yorubas have a sin. Baba Usukwa Marino. If you are crying, you will still see now. You can't say because you are crying and doing drugs to disrupt the livelihood of other people. It's not acceptable now. What are we saying? It's not acceptable. So if you disrupt my livelihood and the results of violence, do you like that? No, we can't do that now. When we are crying, we still see. What is the protest there for? To create awareness to what is happening. Your placards and your chances will create that awareness. But when you start to impede on my own right, of movement. No, now because me, 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 maybe that, that will help you to go, where, where, call where the government minute, more. Maybe that will help where, you where to blame the, minute, the government Mary. more. If you are saying that, that means everybody who has the right to go mad. If I come to block the road of the studio where you are, and I say because I'm angry, you should not leave. Would you be happy about that? At some point, you two will react. Mm. You will react now. Mm. So when you start to block the road and everything, you've lost the legitimacy in my own view. Some That's what I'm against. And, uh, and you don't have to, what is it called? You don't have to, you know, constrict and force people. No, now you are beginning to bully them. That's what it means to me. You can protest, carry your placard and all of that. Let your voices be heard. Mm. You can even, we can even give them airtime on the radio. They can come. And that's why I was even going to ask that when they were protesting, did you call any of their leaders to come and talk on the radio? Yeah. That's also a form we, of no, protest. We, we called them and we got them to talk on one of Very the programs. Very good. And... Uh, yeah, so that, that's also a form of protest. But the part that you start to disrupt other people's lives. Okay, so Mary, you think if a friend of yours had a medical emergency and they were in an ambulance, and the ambulance was stuck in that traffic. And that was passed you know, due to the disruption caused by the blockage. Do you think you'll be coming here to say what you are saying this morning? No, no. Let's be realistic. Yes, I support the protest 100%. And I'm sad that government has not listened to them. It is very sad. And we condemn what government has done and how they have handled this issue issue. But is the solution to a headache cutting the head off? Is the solution going to block wood and disrupt the livelihoods of other people that are just trying to do their job? You know, simply in this same Nigeria that government has made hard for them. Is that the solution? I, 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 I wonder if a uh, lot of our listeners are going to agree with you on this. But uh, we're going that to, is, we're, that's not the solution we're, we're now. That's to, never the solution. Because we need government to do something, because something about this as quickly as possible before the next dispensation. Uh, before February, before the election, so we are we are waiting. But every the student, I I know I know they are tired. And today now the protest is uh, at the Apapa port. It's going to take place today, according to what we are saying in the news. So they are not backing down. People are joining this, this, them. This Other students protest? are joining them. Even some passersby, they came down to say yes, we support you. So let's, yes, let's the, see. The, 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 we support the protest, but. They have a right to protest, but please don't block the road. Don't disrupt the livelihood of other people. Please. Mm -hmm. Now you are impinging on the rights of others. Don't. Carry your banner. Walk the sideway. Get police presence like the Navy. Like I said, the members of Air Force DGS today, let them coordinate things, but please don't block the road. Let traffic move. Okay. Gather in a certain area. Move. Let your voices be heard. Carry your banners and everything, but don't block the road. Please. Once you start to do that, I'm sorry you lose me on that. Okay, great. Now, be before we let you go and start taking calls, uh, let's let's talk about uh, politics a bit. What happened with the APC as uh, Tinubu appoints Yahya Bello, Yahya Bello as National Youth Coordinator Campaign Council. Uh, the governor of uh, Kogi State has now been appointed as the National Youth Coordinator of the Tinubu Shetima's Presidential Campaign Council. How does this translate for the APC in preparation for uh, the campaigns and the election coming up? I mean, Mr. Chinobu is doing his strategy, as he will always do. A good strategist, I must say. If you see all those appointments, he's placating people yes. that are probably have been disgruntled with him. Yaya Bello, Akire Dolu, you know, he's co-opting them. And you know what he's doing is strategic. But let's say I pans out. Because the, 
no matter how good you are as a strategy, as a strategy, this is the Nigerian people that are the greatest strategies that would decide. And that's why Nigerian people, please go out there to vote. The vote is in your hand. You know, because when you look at it critically, you know the PDP won in the 2019 elections in Ondo states, presidential elections. Yes. And that's why I think it's corrupting people like Akira Dolu. Yaya Belu too ran in the presidential primary for the APC. He too thought he had a good chance. He spent a lot of money, but probably spending power was higher than each other. He still feels he's gone to. A lot of people have not been corrupted into the campaign. Probably the next person will have to reach out to is Roti Miyamichi because we've not heard anything. And other people too that participated in the process. So he's trying to muscle his way out and get it. And I'm sure probably he's setting up his own council in reaction to the APC. I mean the PDP. Yeah. The PDP has set up over a 300-man council with all their big wigs in there. In fact, names of people that he thought were fighting with the top faction on the presidential candidate of the PDP, their names are mentioned in the presidential council. And that's what I say about politicians. When it gets to time of politics that they know there's something in this for them, their interest, everybody they align. So for them, it's about their interest, not about Nigerian people. So let's see how this pans out. I think all these appointments he's making will be a prelude to his own campaign council. Yes, and the APC will release it because time is already going. Today is the 19th or the 20th of September. And in eight days' time, officially, yes, in eight days' time, yes, things will open up. Today, yes. Eight days' time, things will open mm. up. By October, governorship mm. will open up. So we are getting deep into campaigns. So all those appointments needs to be made. But the question is, are these guys going to stay on the issues? I doubt. You know, uh, All right? Uh, are they going to give us engaging issue-based campaign, I doubt? They are still going to abuse themselves and all of that. And the funny thing is, when they abuse themselves, let's not even pay them attention. Because they will abuse themselves today, they will drink champagne tomorrow, and they will laugh at you, the Nigerians. It is who that can do your bidding, and they will do. And just, I know this is not part of your story, just to... Um, Really put it out there. Peter B was at the LCCI yesterday to talk about economic policies. Yes, yes. Talked about liberalization of the transmission sector, put out some good ideas. But I still feel, like I said, in particular, Baka, a lot of how needs to be said. For instance, Peter B said, yes, we're going to liberalize the power sector and all of that, bring in new investors, do good work on policy framework. But the question is, what will it do about cost reflective tariffs? Because you see, the reason why the big boys, the EDFs of this world, the Scottish power, don't want to come into the Nigeria power sector is one, regulatory framework, two, the tariff. You can't expect big investors to come and they can't make their money out because you government, you are fixing the tariff because you don't want to, you know, hurt a band of people that can't pay the certain tariff. Mm. All these like, tariffs have also been a problem. That's why people can't recoup their investment. So what would you do as regards that? Also in that speech, he's been able to make a definitive statement because in many times I've asked him about subsidies, is in ambivalent, but he's been able to say that he will move subsidies forward. Yes, he said. I'm that excited yeah. about that. But also, what he didn't tell us is how will he plan for the knock-on inflation that comes with subsidies. So, what is the you know counter plan that once I remove subsidies, the knock-on inflation? What is the projected even inflation? You see, because these are the issues, and that's why everybody in the presidential campaign council should also have a re- economic research team that can project and say, okay, if I do this, this is going to be the knock-on effect of the economy, what this I'm going to do. So I, I said people like this, up, when it's going to bring around and say, okay, once I remove inflation, no, uh, once I remove uh, subsidy, inflation can go up to 20, 30 percent, but this is what I will also do to counter the measure of inflation. He said, no, what he, I will he, said he said, yeah, let me quote him. He said, um, we are going to support and ensure that the refineries are put in as quickly as possible. He said, I'm going to remove fuel subsidy. I was going to remove it Im- immediately and make sure that the refineries start working immediately. So, so, I, so that, that, so, so those are, so once see, our refineries see, start see, working, see, then, no, no, Mary, 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 see, I'm an analytical person. I don't like uh, political buzzwords. There are incentives to make the refinery work, but big investors cannot come because of your PIE Act, your regulatory bottleneck. I'll give you an example. See what happened recently now about the sale of a certain uh, infrastructure that had to go through the NMPC and install the sale and the NURPC and install the sale. So international companies will not come. 
because your regulatory bottleneck is still handicapped. Mm. So if you are saying there's open refinery, yes, a lot of modular refineries have been going on in Buhari, but they are small refineries, they are not big refineries. So the idea of, I uh, we encourage refiner, encourage how? Will you have to go and review the PIA? I, 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 will, you, will you create a regulatory environment? And that's why I say we should give the details of how. Because when you say you remove refinery and encourage, uh, you will remove subsidy and encourage refinery. It doesn't work like clockwork. For you to be the refinery now, you still take two, three years down the line. So it's not as practical as that. I hope you know that if you build a refinery, crude is still going to be sold at international rates. So. so you building a refinery doesn't mean that you buy crude at less than one six five naira. Least, I mean, uh, one seventy naira. Uh, for, for now, at least we've heard uh, what uh, Peter B has to say concerning fuel subsidy and what he's going to do. So hopefully, when the campaign starts by September twenty eighth, we're going to get more, and then uh, the media we are going to ask more questions and see how they uh -huh. tend so, to, to, to do. I it. don't like political buzzwords. I like let's talk facts and accuracy. Because politicians they talk buzzwords a lot. Like uh, Bajamile and uh, Lawan and uh, Kuka, they all said yesterday that uh, the campaign should be issue-based and not just uh, talk, talk, talk. So we are oh, waiting for oh, the oh, campaign. Oh, 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 hope they are going to make it issue-based. Because those two people that you mentioned now, hope they are going to make it issue-based. Uh, yes, you we you needed to see the Senate President, Hamed Lawan, and the Speaker uh, talking yesterday. That's Femi Bajamila talking yesterday about how uh, the politicians should make this issue based, how they should come up with the agenda and all of that. So let's let's just hope, let's keep our finger crossed that, that by 28, we will, we, will, we will ask the hard questions. But but we need to open the phone lines now and get your contribution this morning. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. Thank uh, you for your time, Mary. Thank yeah, you. Ha yes. Yeah, have a great day. The number to call is 0700-903-903-903. That's the number that you can call this morning to be part of the program. Now we have the ASO discussion. Are you in support? Should they block the road? Will that make government listen to them? Hello, good, mo good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Oh, Chief Aloy, good morning. Where are you calling us from today? I'm calling from my flu coaches. Okay, well, welcome, welcome to the program, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, what I'm saying yesterday, I'm saying it. I said, now, delay, there is great traffic. These people are not ready to do anything. Then. They just want to say they are not the to end. And the matter is in court. You carry a ticket, go court. I say, carry and go court. You, you and you are there for court. And now they go say this the matter there for court. The government is not going to talk. Is it this twenty eighth of September when they go start campaign? Now mm. uh, this twenty eighth then to solve the matter. Or oh, this school now, not in November now school end. Everything will be next year. So anything about us, this federal government they don't want to put eye on it. They no want because all the things they do now, if you look at it, as they do this thing yesterday, one man talked this morning, sir. As they do, and our government no one talk. He said the matter there for court. The matter there for court. And they, they can't take one matter there for court. They do not go put more. They carry a ticket go court. First, the way you carry a ticket go court, now you want to make a convert for Nigeria. So this APC then don't send. Thank you and God bless. Yeah, thank you, Chief Aloy, for your contribution this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. My name is Nick, calling from Lucky. Okay, welcome. Uh, On the issue of the student um, blocking of the road, Yes. I think that is no no for me. Yes, they can protest, but your right stops at the point of the other man's right beginning. You cannot block and infringe other people from doing their own duties. So you don't support Number the two. Time? No, no, for me, no. Okay. They have the right to protest, but without causing any harm or violation of other people's rights. Okay. Number two, the political party campaign, yes, it should be issue-based, but should not be issue-based on pros. Mm. Budgeting are not made on pros. Budgeting is time-faced on figures. If I go to open a refinery, tell us how you're going to raise the money, how you are going to finance it, how you are going to implement it, and when it will begin operation. 
is not I'm going to open a refinery. I'm going to open 10 schools. How where will the money come from? How will you finance it? What will be the benefit for the people at the end of the day? All these things will be sorted out. Not a post. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Femi, for your contribution. The number to call is 0700-903-903-903. What's your take on uh, the, uh, the the topics this morning? Hello, good morning to you. Hello, Hello good morning. Good, Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's How your name? You? I'm doing great. Oh, my name is Clara. Clara Rose from, uh, from Ayobo. Okay, welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. I try all my best to connect yesterday, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not. Oh, thank God you're uh, Thank God you're uh, next today. Uh, oh, yes, today. Oh, what is going on in this Nigeria is really, 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 really uncalled for. I've never seen or heard in a world in my life that the students will be at home for a good seven months without doing anything. Now, I'm in support of their, of their rally. I'm fully supported. Yes. Okay. The government are not ready for, the, for, for, for those children. I'm a grandma, but uh, you know, you can't just be looking at, you can be looking at this uh, Nigerian government being rubbish. Yeah, they are just taking the push of these children. I support them fully. Yeah, thank you. If they can even, even they can even start the price to come not to come to this Nigeria, I mean support them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate your contribution this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. This is uh, Ubi Nawani calling from Akbar. Uh, okay, welcome, Mr. Ubi Nawani. Go ahead. Talk to us. Yeah. Um, concerning the building of refinery or reconstructing the old one. Yes. All those, all those things, they are kind of long time, uh, kind of uh, problem, problem that you have to solve for some time. It's not uh, something that you will just uh, just tap on in magic. Because if you want to do the refinery, you take a long a long time. Yes. Yeah. Before you will see, you know, the level that the, the economy has gone also, it will take some some time to get to balance the economy by kind of trying to. Look into other sources of income, generating revenue. So, all these things will be, will be solved. But, <laughs> no politician now, when they want to do something, they may not, they know, they know what, how they are going to do it, but they are just afraid of letting you know because. Maybe sometimes if they let you know, you will, you know, we now, as we, as we are now, we want everything to tap, 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 tap. So, so mm -hmm. part of it. Okay, thank you so much for your contribution this morning, Obina Wani. The number to call is 0700 903 903 903. You can call in and join the conversation. You can contribute on the Can you turn down the volume on your radio set? You have to turn down the volume. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, what's your name and where are you calling us from this morning? This is Valentine, calling from Malaysia, Papa. Okay, welcome, Mr. Valentine. They asked you, the students are coming to your area today, your Papa area. That is what I, what I saw in the newspaper. Yeah. I don't know how realistic is it. It's happening today. So every activity in a papa will be paralyzed. Mm, let's 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 wait and see. So what's your, con uh, what's what's your okay? That's your contribution this morning. <laughs> My no, I want to react to the people saying that uh, uh, one candidate said that he will take away 
Yes, Peter will and, be, uh, Peter will be going to, Peter will be. Yes, going to take away fair subsidy. Uh, and make sure yes. that our refinery uh, works. Yes. Uh, uh, I want to a situation whereby yes. other candidates will come and tell us what they would do. You know, Peter B has come to air his own uh, his own mind for Nigeria. Let other candidates come over and tell us this is what I will do, this is what I will do, and this is how I want to do them. So that it's not that we will be hearing only from Peter B. We have other presidential candidates. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. So that uh, if eventually there be any of the candidates enter, they will, they will not tell us that they, are, they did not say so, I did not say so. It was someone else that said it. And uh, the person happened to be my spokesperson. But uh, uh, it's not me in person that said it. Please, I want you to bring them to your show. And let them come and tell us what they want to do for Nigeria. God bless you. Yeah, bless thank, me. yeah, thank you so much for your contribution this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, my dear sister. <laughs> good morning. You see, uh, my name is uh, Evangelist Abayomi from Ilasa. Okay, welcome to the program. There is even agenda behind this thing. Please don't mind my my English uh, spoken, you know. okay. I'm sending it to you. Okay. But I want people to know that this present government, they just want to put Nigeria into trouble. Number one, the reason why they delay these children, they, our children, is that they know that everybody ready to follow OP. I'm a young woman. The one they are doing is so good. But they know that if they delay these children, by the time they will allow them, everybody, all of them will be in the school. So they cannot be able to afford to be. You hear me? Yeah. So all these people that they are saying uh, what they are doing is so good. It is good even if, if they can close the sky. When they close the sky, the government, they, are, they, are, they say they are living with they, they are our government, like father for the children. Why you carry your children to court? Because of what? Please, let us, don't, don't let us uh, 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 envelope ourselves. If they envelope us, let us lose. I was saying it yesterday that if it is happened that all we parents we should follow all these students to anywhere they are going. If so they then they go block everywhere. That's the idea be blocked. Enough is enough. Why they will be deceiving us? I'm sitting, I'm over seventy years. This kind of thing never happened. And education is the key to any 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 country to develop. They, 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 they lock our, 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 our children and they say they, 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 they are they, why do they carry them to court? For what? Because they know, say, all the youth they are for OB, that's the reason why. I'm going to judge it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for calling this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, my people. Can you turn down the volume on your radio set? It's very important. Have you done that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. go ahead. What's your name and where are you calling us from? My name is Shimone. Okay. I'm coming from uh, uh, Ikeja. Okay, go ahead, sir. See, my sister, we don't need to deceive ourselves. The video should get, they should understand that. These people have been promising Nigeria, I will do this, I will do that. Both PDP and it is me, I am a PDP man. But I found out that two the two of the party they have frustrated Nigeria. Don't let us deceive ourselves. At least look at the youth of tomorrow, the hope of tomorrow. Students, take them to court. Are you forget that? Teachers, they are the ones that taught you to be in that position. Why is it now that you cannot able to allow the children to go to school? Even if it's cause students to block everywhere, my dear, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. God in heaven is aware of all those things that is happening today. There is nothing anybody can able to tell me. Since I grew up like this, my dear, I've never seen this kind of situation. It is a claim they thought that they would do everything. Nigeria will smile. Look at where Nigeria are. Look at what we are facing today. We are talking of PDP, talking of APC. 
See, let me just tell you, there is no point of saying candidates should come and tell Nigeria what they can able to offer. PDP and APC they cannot offer anything. And God in heaven, go and mark it. Mark my word today. You remember how shown that. God in heaven, right now, he will start it. Look at how they know. Thank you so much for your contribution. You can call us back. The number to call is 0700-903-903-903. Hello, good morning to you. Hello. Yeah, yeah, good morning to you. Okay, we lost the call. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning to you. I'm, I'm fine. Can you turn down the volume on your radio set? Okay, I think the network is not so good. Okay, I'll have to let you go because the network is not so good from your area. The network is not so good, so we're getting feedback. This is the front page review of our newspapers, our daily newspaper, Nigeria newspaper. Hello. Hello, Hello good morning. Okay, I think the phone lines are jamming. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning to you. Uh, my name is uh, Adetunji. I'm calling from Elata. Okay, go ahead, Adetunji. Join the conversation. Uh, my own contribution to this, uh, as we all uh, today. Okay. Okay, we've, we've, we've lost the call. The number to call again is 0700-903-903-903. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, yeah. Mary. Yeah, good morning yeah. to you. What's your I'm, name? I'm Ben from, I'm ben from Lagos. Okay, welcome to the program. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you should remember, Claire, I called yesterday to... Talk about the as to the NAS protest, mm -hmm. and I probably you got angry or the way of when because I, I what I can say about it is that you are a very um, big uh, supporter of this this uh, protest. But I'm also supporting their protest. Yes, I'm, but the process at which they are going about it is the point. They don't have to protest at the at the uh, expense of we innocent Nigerians. Yeah. Understand? Just like the um, great scholar, the uh, the great had online mm. said, yes, they are they have the right to protest. It's very very obvious they have the right to protest. But making it making the innocent people feel the the pain also is what I don't buy. That's why I call it maybe I, I said revolution is that you kind of you upset that you ended the call. So that's how it is. When did because, you call? When did you call that I ended the call? There is no yeah, sign. Morning. No, no, I didn't. Yesterday morning, I did. We did not discuss. It. It. <laughs> it's not this show. We didn't discuss that. Really? Uh, yes, it's no, not. It, it, yeah, no. It, okay, probably it's on, but it's on this network, there, there, uh, on this station, on okay. this station. There, yeah, there is no sign. Sure, yeah. There is no side to this. Is it you were in or you are? No, you the called the show. Then. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did yesterday. Okay. Sure, we were talking about the assault. So because you well, are just like the guest, uh, the online caller said, he said. He, he, he made a reference to maybe your friend having a message. Even you, if you couldn't get to work yesterday, would your boss listen to you that is because of the protest? He, 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 he won't. He won't. And you will be accepting one way or the other. That's just what you're trying to say. They are doing the right thing by protesting, but the process is the problem. We already know that the government is really, really not helping matters also. But me, my own advice, the saboteurs of this whole thing are the NLC. Because the NSA has in so many times promised to join the ASO in the strike and, and they have not turned up in any way. So I think, and even they have they've supported them right from time. Maybe the, by now the government would have given them a listening ear and hopefully things will be done in a better way. So that's just it. And again, I also correct one impression about people saying they have never experienced this uh, strike for. I think under the watch of the former president, Richard Governor John, the vice Article uh, Worker, I think. Something, something similar like this came up very close to this um, duration. If you, if you could remember very, very correctly. Okay. Do you? Yeah, so something like that came up very close. I think six or seven months or so like that. So it, it, it has been happening all this while. And the government has gotten used to have to strike, okay. have to strike, have to okay. strike. That's okay. why it's not making headway. So okay. now that the students have joined, yeah. 
Okay, thank yes. you. Thank you so much for your contribution. Let's take other calls. You've been on for a while. Hello, good morning to you. Please, I'm still on line. Okay. You see, if those people that they are saying they are not in support, if they are three or two of their children in university now, they send them come home. And by now, they forget that the, the age of these children is growing up. Nigeria now, either you are a graduate or you are not a graduate, at age of 20 or 30, they will not employ you again. And they are wasting their time. And what Asu was telling them, it is not because of their salary, it is because of the quality of education in this country. This is the reason why these people, they are arguing. No, government refused to do it. Tell me, all these people that they are ruling us, who are among of them that it is not through scholarship or it is this way they were graduates to be what they are today. For us, please, forget. Without sacrifice, we can never achieve anything. Let everybody sacrifice. If it is your work, that two days or a day that these children they will be on the road, it will not cost okay. us anything. Okay, thank, thank, months, thank, thank, you, sir, thank you, sir, for your contribution. Please, let, me, not, yeah, let, let me take other calls. Uh, the number to call is 0700-903-903-903. When you call us, ensure to be brief so that we can get as many calls as possible. Uh, hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Can you turn down the volume on your radio set? Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. What's your name and where are you calling us from? My name is Olubode. Okay, from Chomolu. Okay, welcome, sir. Go ahead. Um, it's the government I want to address. Go ahead. In this country, we have gotten several governments. Um, and I'm climbing my ladder to 80. Yeah. So I, I have experienced various governments. Education. I want this government to put an end to this matter. And if they want to put an end to it, they know how to do it. But the way is just not there. Sometimes ago, we had some group of People, whoever they are, they say they don't want Western education. And this government is dancing around that. They are dancing around that, deceiving people. But I want us, both in government and not in government, to fear God. We need, they need to fear God, the, the, the citizens of this country give them opportunity to govern us, but not to destroy these children. The hope of any nation is thank you. just thank you. children. Thank you so much sir, we, for your contribution. We, we just have a minute to go. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning. You have, Mary. You have less than a minute before we round off the show. Okay, my name is Tix. I'm calling from the United Kingdom. Welcome to the program. Go um, ahead. Yeah, um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, our government, you know, think uh, it's business as usual. You know, you see this is happening. Some people in the government, they don't want us to go to school. You know, they are angry that right now, the people are getting educated in the social media and are knowing their rights, and this is why we fight in this fight. I, uh, I call upon all the parents, every supporters of education, to join these students to stop these people from going out and from coming in. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for being part of the program. All right. Bye. Okay, we can't take more calls because our time here is up. But before we go, I'd like to take uh, one or two messages from our YouTube channel. This one is from Cairo C. He said, this ASU issue is deliberate. Are they, uh, that's the government, not ashamed that the schools of higher learning in the country is not working? Another uh, one here from um, Oxton said, Oga Kola, if it happened under Obasanjo, does, does it make it right that it's happening? 
Okay. In other countries, this strike would have triggered a revolution. But in our country, we are scared. Okay. I think that's all the comment I can take right now. So you can go to our YouTube channel. You can watch what we have just done now. You can watch the program on YouTube a voice of the people 90.3 fm and leave your comments there thank you so much for being part of the program this morning my time here is up my name is mary onaife at debbie tomorrow god willing we'll be here same time from 7 to 8 a.m coming up next at eight o'clock is again uh keep it here we are the voice of the people 90.3 fm